we're in quite the season this year. This is all new territory for all of us uh, moving into this flu season because of what we're dealing with with the pandemic. And the impact of getting the flu this year could definitely be a lot more challenging than it, it has ever been before. And today we're gonna to help you understand by taking your tello youth, you're preparing yourself on all levels, not only for the flu, but for the pandemic, other viruses. And we wanna help you understand without getting too technical, you know, why. So when we look at what's happening uh, today in, you know, <laughs> the crazy world of, of 2020, you know, we have a lot of stress that's happening. And if you just think about it without even looking at this slide, what's going on in the world, you know, look at what's happening in Wisconsin. They are a hot spot right now. They're our neighboring state here. And they're the, the biggest hot spot for COVID-19 right now. Um, and all of these battleground states, you know, they're be turning into these super spreader events. And we have been talking about this herd immunity. And this is where, you know, we're allowing people to kind of just go out there and, you know, take your mask off and be in these large places. And yes, we are seeing, you know, viral outbreaks. Uh, they're kind of off the charts, but when we look at that, when we look at our natural disasters, you know, feeling for California, for Colorado, you know, just the heat waves, we had snow, <laughs> a record breaking snow of nine inches in Minnesota yesterday and more to come. There's so much happening on so many different, different levels. The point that I wanna make is, is that we are getting hit we are getting hit hard with stress. And this next two weeks, you know, with the election coming, even if you're not tuned into it, you will know and you will sense and you will feel that underlying tone that's going on. And, you know, and Dr. Chris, you mentioned the other day on uh, one of our webinars, Another thing that we need to be aware of, we'll get into it a little bit deeper, but you know, when we're talking about toxins and things that are happening that we're being you know, stressed with, we're looking now at uh, Japan releasing millions of gallons of contaminated water into the ocean starting in 2022. Um, and they're saying you know, they really have no choice uh, because they're running out of uh, capacity to store this. So it's interesting, you know, when this radioactive wastewater is going to get dumped into the oceans, we have to be aware, you know, there goes our seafood. We're not going to be able to clearly, you know, um, eat seafood and feel safe. And I know that South Korea bans all seafood right now from Japan because of the, the radioactive waste. Do you have anything that you'd like to add before I jump a little bit more into the stress? Uh, sure, it's um, a great topic to understand. And uh, you know, you and I as healthcare providers, um, we know how important it is to protect ourselves. And uh, we think of our tele-youth as our internal PPE, you know, the protective equipment that the healthcare providers have to wear, the masks and the gloves and the gowns when they see uh, infected victims and, and, and patients and, and uh, individuals all the time. Well, we take our tele-youth to protect us internally. Let's like our internal PPE. And um, this is what we're gonna share here today. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Yes, and, yeah, absolutely. That we, we certainly do. We take it very seriously. And if, if any of you had your stress levels go up at all when I was talking about some of the highlights, you know, of what we're all facing, um, you know, that, that means your cortisols went up, that's your stress hormone. And when we look at some of the symptoms of the stressors that we are exposed to, you can see on the left-hand side here, all of the different things that people are starting to experience uh, at a heightened level on that left-hand side. What I wanna really highlight over on the right is the third one down. 
and this is the immune system. When we have these stressors, we end up with our immune system getting reduced. In other words, it has a lower ability to fight and recover from any illnesses or viruses or those things that we are exposed to that our immune system would naturally protect us. And so when we look at, you know, over time on the left, we hit, get hit hard on the right. When we have those stressors, you know, again, very harmful effects on the body. So today we're going to talk about what is it we can do to really help our immune system. And when we look at our tello youth, we have the ability to be able to reduce our stress. I am hoping by now all of you that are on this call have been able to take your tello youth and get a feeling of calmness that comes through. It usually happens about 20 minutes to 30 minutes after you take it on an empty stomach. And it, it's been proven to help mediate or balance cortisol, which is that stress hormone. And in 2012, Norway did a study on the ingredient in our tell youth, the FTE, the fertilized tissue extract. And the athletes, if you see over on the right here, they had a 48% reduction in their cortisols, mediating their stress. And because, because they had such a high reduction or their, their cortisols were, were high, what happened was they actually induced stress. So they made the athletes create that cortisol hormone. So when we're pushing ourselves, when we're uh, exercising and, and really, really um, working hard, what's happening is our cortisols are going up. So what they did is they took the fertilized tissue extract and they were able to reduce their cortisols 48%. Now, I kind of like to joke about this, but it's probably not too funny, but women look at where we have our cortisols reduced about 26% when we take the, the FTE in the study these women were, and men reduced about 17, 17 and a half percent. But what I'd like to say is that we always have more stress than men. <laughs> and that's why our cortisols were reduced a little bit more, like 26%. So, um, but really the, what we want to look at here is when we get stuck in that cortisol cycle, that stress cycle, when our cortisols are high, our melatonin is low. And this is when we can't sleep at night. We get locked into that cortisol um, syndrome. And so our tello youth assist the body in unlocking that so that our melatonin can come higher at night while our cortisols come down. And you're going to find this is really interesting. There's been numerous studies this last summer about melatonin being a standard treatment for COVID-19 in helping patients that have had COVID-19 and helping them recover. And um, it's interesting because they would high dose um, some of the patients who had COVID and it would success, successfully help bring down all of those different um, Oh, symptoms that they were experiencing in such a short amount of time. And on average, those that were given melatonin were to start just discharged from the hospital after 7.3 days compared to 13 days who did not get the melatonin. And every patient that was given a large dose of mel melatonin, it was divided into four do doses. So this is a really important thing to think about because if we're in that high stress mode, our melatonin is low, what have we done? Our own melatonin is not there to protect us. So when you take your tello youth and your cortisols come down, your own melatonin is there to help protect you. And it also, melatonin inhibits the COVID-19 induced cytokine storm. And what that means 
um, is that it plays a very important role in helping our immune cells to, to stay strong and stay balanced. Um, it also helps melatonin plays an important role in our mitochondrial function. It protect, protects against sepsis, which is a blood poisoning. And guess what? That's a virus. So when we're thinking about viruses and we're thinking about the flu and we're thinking about the pandemic, melatonin is so important. And we want to have our own melatonin again, raised up with our cortisols down. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to add? Well, this really fits in uh, the, uh, with today's topic because that additional stressor that comes with the fall and winter uh, is why the flu season is enhanced. Uh, we lose the uh, humidity from uh, you know being indoors and the heat going on, and uh, the humidity ex uh, actually is uh, breaks down the half life of the virus. And what that means is that when we lose the humidity that we're exposed to through the uh, spring and summer months. We extend the lifespan of the virus, which means we have a greater susceptibility. So this is this is the extra stressor that comes in that creates that flu season that we're talking about here, on top of everything else that you just mentioned, Dr. Gina. Great. So that melatonin is so critical to the immunity, but we we first learned about it, the, how it helps us sleep and. You know, most people aren't aware that sleep and our circadian cycles, our, our rhythms have a massive impact on our health. So getting into a regular schedule, a sleep schedule, when we go to bed and wake up at the same time and the importance of eliminating uh, the, the stressors like um, the blue light and the and you know the radiation that comes from our technologies at nighttime. So, um, what you usually hear is people would focus on, uh, oh, I get a good six or seven hours of sleep, but uh, time, you know, the time you sleep is important. But what's even more important is the quality of the sleep. So we're going to help you understand and focus on the quality of the sleep. And it's one of the big reasons that uh, telehealth works the way it does, because one of the first uh, things we hear from individuals is how well they're sleeping and how, how deep they're sleeping. So throughout the night, as you can see on this, on this wheel here, that we go through various stages of sleep. We go from REM sleep, this is rapid eye movement sleep, and uh, back to light sleep. And then we go down into deep sleep. And then we'll come back up again. So we, we move back and forth uh, out of these um, upper and lower levels of sleep three or four times throughout the night. And what's really important to understand is it's the deep sleep and the REM sleep that create this incredible restorative dynamic in the body. This is what helps us to regenerate and repair and, uh, and restore our vitality. So getting the good quality of sleep is so, so important and it has so many different benefits. Um, so number one, getting that regular schedule so that your body knows how to go into these uh, cyclic rhythms that um, help us get that restorative sleep and minimizing the exposure from the electromagnetic fields, the, especially like the, the Wi-Fi um, that's on our phones and the, and the um, electronics, like even, even the clock that's plugged in uh, your bedroom, make sure it's away from your head, away from your body. And all of these things dramatically impact your sleep and, and telehealth is designed to help you, you know, really protect yourself and, and uh, from these stressors as well as you get into that natural rhythm. Yeah, Dr. Chris, I have a question for you. How do you feel about these, um, all these Apple watches or these different um, gadgets that people wear that try to track their sleep or even having it near their, their bed um, with their Wi-Fi turned on and their Bluetooth turned on? Well, <laughs> 
I know the answer, but I want to <laughs> go ahead and elaborate on it. My answer is get out into that morning sun and set your clock with nature because it has all the signals and frequencies that we've evolved with and it helps our body understand what time it is and when to express the cortisol and when to express the melatonin at the appropriate time. And you don't even need to invest in those uh, crazy gadgets when you can just get it for free by working with uh, the outdoors and the sun. Absolutely. And, and they're actually, they can be more harmful with those extra EMFs. And we're going to get into those as well. Exactly. So everyone, we want stage three and REM as much as we can through the night at deep sleep. So we want to go through our ingredients and show you how they're designed to really impact uh, the protective mechanism that uh, we're sharing today with the, um, you know, the, the invasion of the viruses. So we often talk about the fertilized tissue ex extract as so key in, in our stem cell, uh, you know, activation in our bodies, but even more important is that you have these pre-embryonic signals that are coming from the fertilized tissue extract and uh, they're, they're peptides. And uh, what peptides are is just chains of amino acids that come together and they, they give us specific signals. And the signals that we receive or the peptides that we receive from the fertilized tissue extract actually prevent viruses from attaching to the cells. So there's specific signal molecules that prevent the virus from attaching to the cell. So therefore we can't get infected. But if they do attach, we have other peptides that prevent the virus from entering the cell. So here's another layer of protection. So in not just uh, keeping it from attaching, but if it does, we have another, like I said, peptide to keep it from entering the cell. And then you have other peptides that boost the immune system, so ones that reduce inflammation and actually support the body's immunity to fight the different types of viruses in different ways rather than just you know, working with the um, connecting devices. So it's so important to understand that uh, you know, our fertilized tissue extract has these signaling peptides and also the specific proteins to help build our collagen. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that with uh, our collagen ingredient. So Dr. Tina, you wanna share a little yeah. bit more about the collagen proteins? Well, I, sure, I just like, you know, we, we bring up this, this, these pictures and I'd like to just kind of explain them a little bit. And when we look at, you know, after the first day on the left-hand side here, if you could think about our fertilized tissue extract, and that's the first day after incubation. All of the letters of the alphabet are there. And after 10 days, all those letters, they combine into these incredible peptides that Dr. Chris was talking about, and their words or instructions, and they start to um, form, and, and they, they're there to help rebalance all of these different systems and organs and glands. And, but after 21 days, if we, we don't extract, pull the extract out from the actual egg, it continues to grow into a baby chicken after 21 days. So when Dr. Chris is talking about the pre-embryonic signal molecules, they are so incredibly vast and broad spectrum and that's why we see so many different layers of the body that can heal and repair and come back into balance. Very good, thank you. You're welcome. And when we talk about our collagen, take a peek here at Hannah on day one on the left and then after day 90 of the rejuvenation program. And our marine collagen is so important in our formula because it builds that intracellular matrix. It's that structure that creates a pr protective barrier. You know, as we age, our, our skin gets thin and, and the barrier for the entry of viruses and bacteria 
is, is weaker. And by the time we end up at age 75, 75% of our collagen has already declined. And we lose about 1% of that collagen per year after the age of 18. So we can rebuild our collagen, not only with our FTE um, reducing stress, because when we have our accelerated stress, it actually breaks down our collagen 10 times faster. So supplementing with our marine collagen helps to rebuild. And you can see that after uh, Hannah engaged in our whole body rejuvenation program after 90 days, look at her skin on the right. And there's no makeup. These are untouched photos. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to add? Or? I really like what you said as far as how it protects the uh, um, cells from being invaded because the collagen is the glue that holds the cells together. So when they're tightly held together, you don't have that susceptibility or, or exposure to any type of microbe, whether it's a virus or bacteria or fungi. So it's definitely collagen plays a key role in our immune system. Yes, thank you. So when we look at the immune system itself, we have, a, you know, five of the six ingredients are directly connected to the immune response. And we share a lot about the aloe vera uh, gel and the rhodiola rosea because they have the ability to exercise the immune system so that it's strong. And whenever it has a foreign invader, it knows you know, to attack it. And um, when we talk about building the immune system with our ingredients, we're talking about the full spectrum of the immune system. When you talk about a vaccine, this is the acquired part of the immune system. This is, this is like the second stage. And we have an, the first stage is called the innate part of the immune system. So what that does is that this is where your uh, natural killer cells and, and your macrophage, the white blood cells circulate throughout the body. And when they see a foreign invader, they innately, they respond immediately and attack it and tell the uh, immune system that, okay, here's this foreign invader and let's learn about it so that we can develop antibodies and we can develop an acquired immunity so that if this invader comes back or continues to uh, uh, you know, attack the body, we have a second level of defense using the uh, antibodies that we produce. So you see, when you take the telouth, you're taking very specific ingredients like the aloe and the rhodiola that are designed to exercise the immunity and keep that innate response, that first response and that acquired development of the second protective layer of specific immunity to be at its highest. And um, so you could you can do this at any age so that as your immune system declines with age and you start taking telehealth, you build back that immunity as if you were young again. Dr. Tina. Fantastic, thank you. So here are the challenges that the immune system faces. And today's topic is, those invasive microbes, those invisible microbial uh, particles and uh, like the viruses, they need your cell in order to re replicate, but the bacteria and fungi, they're, they're entities of their own and, and when they get hold in the body, they can, they can replicate from on, the, on their own using the body. But the viruses are, they need a very special condition, they need the right environment, they need access, and our immune system facilitates the ability to deny all these things that facilitate microbes to uh, grow and expand throughout the system. And some of the things that weaken our immunity is obviously the environmental toxicity, the environment we live in today where the food, the air, the water isn't as pure and clean as it, as it we know it can be. So it adds an additional stress to the system. And as Dr. Tina mentioned, the, you know, the EMFs, they play a very important uh, new role. They're, they're a, a new stressor in this 21st century. So 
these these stressors in our environment they're there constantly so they're constantly you know trying to bring down our immune system and as we take the tele youth we exercise it and keep it strong the metabolic imbalances that we face because of our diet because of the stressors that break down our system um, the metabolism is how we make energy it's how we maintain our resilience it's how the immune system keeps strong and and is able to resist the stressors that it faces so um, telehealth helps to build back our, our metabolic integrity and then of course we're all responsible for a good diet and and this is what provides us the vitamins and minerals and essential fatty acids and antioxidants that we need to support all the systemic functions and the cellular functions. And then of course, the microbiome. We talk a lot about the um, intestinal flora, you know, the good gut flora that are so important because they make some of the vitamins that we need and they help digest and process the foods, but they also act as a protective barrier Think about it, what's the one mechanism that exposes us to the outside more than anything else? Well, it's what we ingest, what we eat. Our food is the volume of our food, the intake of what we put in our me with our meals and what we drink is so vast that um, we have you know, the my my microbiome that helps this protective barrier through the GI tract. And the GI tract is just, it, it, when you look at the internal surface, it has the size of a tennis court. So if you were to stretch it out, so look at all the trillions and trillions of, of microbes that are needed to uh, cover the surface of this uh, organ that is a protective barrier from, from the invasive uh, dynamics that come in from our diet. And then of course, um, the mitochondrial function, telehealth supports our mitochondria, keeps them strong, keeps them prolific, keeps them high in number. And um, what, do, what do our mitochondria do? Well, they give us the energy. They support the immune system to keep it strong and resilient. So here's the incredible dynamic of all these different things that uh, the telehealth can support the body with. Great. You know, there's, I want to just bring this up. Um, you know, as, as your immune system gets stronger and stronger, you're going to notice when you've had um, exposure to something like, let's take, take, for instance, sugar, somebody would eat sugar and they'd say, what, how come I'm getting really warm after I'm eating you piece of cake or something that's, you know, not really that great for me. And I like to tell them, I love that. It's your immune system going after and scavenging and protecting the body and trying to clean up all that stuff that you just put in there. Um, it's a, it's a sign of a very strong immunity, immunity. So it's, it's really exciting when people start to feel that and sense that. And I've been wanting to mention that a couple of times. So this is a good place to put it in. Absolutely. You know, and you, we, we talked about EMFs and uh, there is no mistake that um, in Wuhan, China, they were the first city to install over 10,000 5G towers. And guess where the coronavirus took off from and, and spread like wildfire. 5G, those EMFs, it's, it's like an eight lane highway with no speed limits. Whereas when we're talking about a four, when we had 4G, it was like a two lane highway. So think of just the, the incredible uh, speeds and the intensity of the 5G. And I, I don't know about you guys, but we're seeing it all over the news here and on TV. They're, you know, they're so excited that 5G is being implemented everywhere. And now we have access to that. And we need to be just really cautious about that because when we're exposed to those ionizing and non-ionizing radiation, uh, we end up having cellular dysfunction. Our cells become extremely vulnerable with electrolyte imbalances, the calcium magnesium imbalances, our metabolism gets thrown off, which is our B12 dilemma. We end up with oxidative stress or because of those ex excess free radicals. 
and our cells are just wreaking havoc. And when we're talking about repairing at the cellular level, that's what we do with Tello Youth. And our chaga mushroom specifically helps balance out this 5G or these ionizing and non-ionizing radiations that we're exposed to. And when we're thinking about ionizing the radiation, that's like Fukushima, when we're talking about that radiation being dumped into our oceans, that radioactive water, uh, we have to have protection against that. Chernobyl was one of the other instances, x-rays, CAT scans, all of that health technology, that great technology that we're exposed to really does wreak havoc on our bodies when we are exposed to them. And when we're talking about the non-ionizing, those EMFs, the 5G, computers, our cell phones, the dirty electricity in the walls, um, we have to be aware of that. And our chaga mushroom actually helps rebuild the melanin in our skin to help protect us from this radioactive material or these frequencies that we are exposed to. Dr. Chris, do you have anything to add? No, oh, that's great. Just uh, so glad to see that every one of these ingredients plays such a key role. And, you know, the, the one ingredient we don't talk too much about is the L-arginine. And, uh, you know, we refer to it as the super builder because you know, it's a precursor for the uh, growth hormone that our body makes, which is great because it helps us to regenerate and repair. But one of the other key factors that fits today's topic is that it's the essential amino acid that helps the body make nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is a uh, free radical, but it's, it's a in a small amount, it's what the body needs. It's very healthy. It's 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 uh, uh, has a protective dynamic to it. So this arginine creates this soluble gas called nitric oxide. And what's interesting is that it has the ability to deactivate the enzyme that the virus needs to replicate itself. So it's not just a signaling molecule that supports the, you know, the inner lining of our, our tissue, the endothelial uh, layer of our, of our tissue, and it protects our mitochondria so that they stay strong and viable. And we talk about it as a you know, signal neurotransmitter um, a signal component, but it has the ability to impact the uh, replication of viruses. It actually stops the virus from replicating. And the studies to, that just came out in 2020, as you see there in redox biology, they did a specific study on the COVID-19 um, virus. And Dr. Tina, let's, let's put up this next slide that shows the uh, actual um, study that was done. So here you see uh, a set of Petri dishes, you know, three sets. And then starting on the right-hand side, you see the control. And then in the middle, you have the specific um, component that the nitric oxide produces that inhibits the virus. And then you see a double of the concentration on the far left side of that component. So in the beginning, in the first 24 hours, the, the virus is introduced into the Petri dishes and you see those little specks on the top three circles that show the virus has attached itself to the, the, um, you know, the Petri dish. And after 48 hours, you see the growth of the virus. On the left side in the control, the virus has really taken off. And you on see- On the right side. On excuse right me, side. on the right side, there you go, where the, your arrow is, good you see the virus has really started to take off and it has a little bit of growth in the middle and then just a tiny bit of growth as well on the far left side. But after 72 hours, and this is, this is the key, you know, the idea is to keep the virus suppressed, keep it from replicating because as it replicates, you know, we have to give our body enough time to make the, antigens. Remember we talked about that second level of the immune response? Well, 
is it takes a few days for that immune response to happen. So if we can keep the viral load down, it keeps it from spreading in the body before we can make those antigens. So in the control, you see the virus after 72 hours has totally taken over the culture. And when you take it um, at um, the, the 200 um, you know, mini micro level, you see that the virus isn't as much as the control, but still is a, it's, it's expanded. But in the highest amount of taking the nitric oxide, you see that the virus is kept under control. And this is why we say it's a dose dependent. That means taking your tele-youth more, taking more of it during these stressful times, as well as spacing it out so that it can continue to create the nitric oxide that's needed in the body in order to suppress this uh, viral influence. Uh, Dr. Tina, anything you want to share? But these, these photos are dramatic to show how taking something natural and, and using the body's capability to uh, suppress the virus. It's great. Uh, the um, study is on the left-hand side down in the lower. There's a link there. Feel free to copy that and um, go check out the study if, if you'd like. You'll get all the full details. So Incredible. what we tried to do today is introduce each one of the ingredients and how they contribute to uh, you know, protecting us and defending us against any type of microbial invader. Because these tiny invaders, they're ubiquitous. They're throughout you know, our environment. And today they're even more prolific because we see a very highly contagious new virus that was introduced into our culture you know, at, the, at the end of uh, 2019 in China and then came to this country in the first of the year and it's just wreaking devastation uh, in our communities, you know, with, with um, what over, over 200,000 people that have passed from it and, and just, uh, you know, millions that are being infected. So we're showing you here today how each one of these ingredients supports you in a different way to protect you. So you have the aloe vera gel extract. It helps uh, the body know how to attack and destroy uh, any type of foreign invader through the, the first level of uh, immunity, the natural killer cells and the macrophage and the chaga mushroom that Dr. Tina described and its ability to protect us from the uh, you know, electromagnetic fields that stress the system and totally discombobulate the metabolic functions of, of the, on the cellular level. So we, we bring back balance and, and protection into the system. The fertilized tissue extract, it's not just there to help rejuvenate, but it has a whole host of signal peptides, signaling molecules that orchestrate our immune system on so many levels and keep the virus from attaching, keep it from breaking into the cell, keep it from you know, replicating, so important. Then of course, the rhodiola rosea, another key important component to the immune system and specifically the central nervous system. So it, it keeps that um, you know, communication links happening through the, the brain and the nervous system healthy and strong with um, the immunity that the rhodiola provides. And of course, the marine collagen, that glue that holds our cells together, that strengthens and maintains our defensive barriers as Dr. Tina described. And you know the, the L-arginine, as we just showed you, it inhibits the replication. So each one of these ingredients has its own unique way of supporting our immunity. And um, you know, they're so important. And when you take them all together, you have the most powerful PPE, as I said, that you take internally to protect you, you know, far better than anything else we can, we can ever recommend. Dr. Tina, any closing thoughts here? Mm -hmm, fantastic. Um, we just want everyone to know that this presentation is for informational and educational purposes only, and know that we are not trying to substitute for in-person or one-on-one -on -one professional advice. If you do need any medical or general health advice, uh, please go to your doctor. Okay, thank you, everyone.